today on Internet Marketing Pro, optimizing your press release for SEO. Are you legally minimizing your future tax burden and staying compliant in today's complex tax code? If not, our podcast show sponsor, McLew Consulting, has over 30 years of experience providing top quality professional services in accounting and tax preparation for a wide variety of clients like you. Whether you need tax return filing, planning, bookkeeping, financial statements, full service payroll, or a corporate or individual tax return filing, I personally endorse you to contact Jeffrey Ressler, CPA, at 561 237 Five two six four. That number again is five six one two three seven five two six four. And you can visit their website at jrcpa.net. That's jrcpa.net. Tell Jeff that Chad Deckard sent you from this podcast to receive a special rate for listening to the show. Thank you very much. Now on with the show. Broadcasting from the city of sun and rain off the Atlantic Ocean in Boca Raton, Florida. Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be across the nation and around the world. I'm your host, Chad Deckard, and welcome to my Internet Marketing Pro podcast show. My shows will cover how to grow your business as well as topics on tips and tricks and techniques, digital lifestyles, the future of finance, and entrepreneurism. Thank you for tuning in to my show as we begin this adventure together exploring many great things to come. Now, let's cover a quick few announcements before we get started. I really appreciate all the feedback that I've been getting. What a difference it makes in motivating me to put these shows out and continually think of the next subject matter that I'd like to explore with you all. I am also very excited about you all helping me out to get more subscribers by sharing my content with your social network. My weekly listening base is growing a great deal week after week and that's the greatest payoff my listeners can do for me by giving back for my time and efforts in putting the show together. If you like my show and find it resourceful, please do your social network a favor and share, like, post, leave a comment, and subscribe to my show. I greatly appreciate your efforts and support. Now, let's get down to business. Okay, today's show is about optimizing your press release for SEO. Very important thing. Uh, I can't stress so much that uh, uh, this is a very important uh, show uh, for anyone who is looking for uh, an extra oomph in uh, publicity. Before we get started into the nuts and bolts of this program, I just want to share a really cool story that got me really inspired and, um, to give PR a try throughout my professional career in marketing. I'd read a story back in the late uh, 80s when I was involved with my newspaper, and it was about a PR uh, fella who worked out of New York City who sold the Brooklyn Bridge for a quarter. Now, people go like, what's up with that? How did a guy uh, sell the book Brooklyn Bridge uh, for a quarter, well, he happened to be a fantastic PR person, and uh, I don't remember his first name, but his last name was Hartunian, so you might want to Google that and check out his story of how he miraculously was able to sell the Brooklyn Bridge for a quarter, making millions of dollars for doing so. And what they mean by that uh, in the, the headline was that Hartunian at the time, this was even way before the internet, uh, was uh, commercialized. He had sent out a fax for a quarter of what it would cost to, to send uh, a fax long distance. And his press release was about how he had gotten together uh, with the uh, deconstructors or demolition crew that were taking down a part of the uh, Brooklyn Bridge at the time and taking the refuge of the Brooklyn Bridge and just finding dumps within the general area and dumping that material into a junkyard. He figured, hey, this is a piece of history and why are they throwing it away? So he contacted the uh, contractor and negotiated a deal for the contractor to take several, maybe 50 or so dump truck fulls of this material and dump it into this particular uh, yard where uh, he had a facility where he had people that he hired to take sections of this junk, which was the Brooklyn Bridge, and turn it into plaques and different type of memorabilia that you see on people's walls or sitting on their desk. 
uh, and turn it into something of value that people would want. And here's a piece of history now with just a press release that he put out that got notoriety in the New York Times and a lot of other major newspapers around the country where people were all of a sudden calling into him wanting to get a piece of history in the Brooklyn Bridge and thus he made millions of dollars of taking junk and storing it and then reselling it and packaging it for the public to acquire from him. So that was a really brilliant piece of PR. And from that story, it just amazed me thinking, geez, with just a little bit of creativity, look what you could do. So uh, in today's modern world, uh, it's all about search engines. And, and thus, if you're going to put out a press release today, it'll be posted online either by a PR web or, or PR releases or any other type of PR firms. And thus, it'll get you some traction that way as far as them posting it on their site and thus uh, the media outlets will potentially, if you have an interesting story, pick up on your story and begin to uh, propagate the story throughout the, the immediate environment. So it's really important that when you do that, that you actually optimize that press release because of the SEO, because when people are searching, you hope that your press release is going to get the biggest bang for the buck and get a lot of uh, action from not only uh, people who are writers or editors looking for new story and content, but you're also looking for the general public who's interested in absorbing that information from those media outlets. So in order to be able to get the biggest bang for the buck, you need to be able to understand how to optimize that press release before you release it because once it leaves your hands, it's really kind of out of your control. So you want to put your best foot forward right from the start. So let's get into the show. The show I'm going to start off with is just covering some major uh, points or I would say a checklist of optimizing your press release. So consider this a checklist, something each one of these points is very important of a component uh, in optimizing that press release of yours. I say the first one on the checklist would make the press release topic and content newsworthy. The top questions to ask yourself when composing your next press release should be, why should anyone care? And what's in it for them anyway? If you are launching a new business, a product or service, describe how it will help your target audience. Give some proof about the advantages your new product offering will bring and be as specific as you can. Touting a new hire, well, that might be good. Uh, a new technology, something that's going to be extremely innovative. Then, you know, highlight the, the accomplishments of that new hire or highlight the benefits and the features of this new innovative technology that you might be releasing. You know, releases uh, citing industry research and trends and customer case studies are also newsworthy subject matters for press releases, so keep those in mind as well. The next point on the checklist that you need to uh, make sure that uh, you consider is selecting the right keyword or phrase. As you craft your press release, lay out the focus keywords that will aid your SEO efforts. If you have a long list of keywords, choose the few that are the most relevant and related to the release at hand. Any keywords you'll be broadcasting in the release should be aligned with its core content. All right. The next uh, bullet in the uh, checklist would be place the keyword or phrase in critical areas. And what I mean by that is once you have the keywords determined, include them in the headline, the subheadline, and early in the body of the text. Also, you should link back to the relevant page of your site using the keyword in the anchor text, in the body of the press release, and in the About Us section. Now, sometimes from what I understand from what people have told me and I've had from experience, when they do post, say, a PR newswear post release, they normally might not like link back out to you or post back to you, but you never know. And not only that, they're not the only avenue in town. If you really, really are going to do a good press release, you should actually take it upon yourself to go out and manually find the best resources or outlets for you to get the press release in their hands. Don't wait for them to come to you. You need to go to them because all these media outlets all the time are looking for stories constantly to keep feeding a ferocious appetite that the public has for information. All right, next bullet is limit acronyms industry language, 
abbreviations, and pronouns. Instead of jumping into your press release with many acronyms your company uses, spell them out upon first reference. The same goes with industry jargon. Just because you know that B2B is what it is, don't assume that your audience does. If you include both acronyms and full words in your release, you will have a broader set of keywords to work with. Also, use the company complete spelling of brands and product names and be sure to include your brand names whenever you can. All right, next bullet point is think beyond text. Go multimedia. Press releases have evolved beyond being static documents. They're a valuable, interactive way to communicate with your target audiences. As such, be sure to insert your brand logo and product shots into the release and use the alt text on the host page. Consider embedding video, audio, or flash into the press release also. Video is the key because YouTube is the world's third largest search engine, believe it or not. Even if you can't include full multimedia on a broadcast press release, do so on the page it resides on within your site. Use formatting like bold H1 tags, subheads, and bullets to increase readability and information hierarchy. All right, so the next, I'd say, bullet point in this checklist is to select the right distribution channels. I was mentioning this just a few minutes ago. On the push side of things, you can potentially reach an audience in the tens of thousands via channels like opt-in email and subscriber-based RSS feeds. Go further and aim to cultivate your own distribution network of blog readers, Twitter followers, and Facebook fans. Don't neglect the traditional avenues and build relationships with industry editors and analysts and influencers. On the pull of the distribution side, assuming you choose the right keywords and get highly ranked, your potential audience is in the tens of millions thanks to SEO. If you create press releases that are compelling enough to get people to use social media and networking websites, you'll see the network effect work in your favor. Definitely pay $200 to submit to PRWire.com with its SEO package, but avoid submitting to multiple services as the new search engines weed out duplicates. So you will hurt yourself that you... Uh, would say hire a PR newswire or PR releases and do multiple PR firms. You want to stick with just one. Next bullet point is to create an online media kit. Create a central web page for all relevant information and links to assets such as videos, product sheets, competitor comparisons, related resources and blog posts. Make it easy for journalists or bloggers to get a lot of information quickly about your product, service, or company when they are interested. Link to things like the media kit uh, from the footer of each page of the release. So the idea is on your release is to try to put those links that lead people back to your media kit uh, so that the editor or the writer who is reviewing your press release will be able to go to exactly uh, the right section of your website to get additional information. The next bullet point is to build in RSS feeds into the program. You should already be using RSS feeds for blog posts, press releases, and news feeds. Make press releases distinct feeds and add them to iTunes, Google Reader, and FeedBurner. If you have a podcast as part of a release, feed it into the podcast.com and relevant online radio channels like Stitcher or iTunes or Blog, Blogosphere or Zoom. Next bullet point is to optimize the press release host page. Internal links to your release are important elements of SEO. As such, create a blog post and link to the release using keyword-rich text. Have a central directory of press releases that links to your full releases using title and dates. Make sure the page where the full release list resides is optimized and use the title of the release in your URL and title tag. Also, create a unique meta description. Use H1 and H2 tags. Follow our SEO checklist. 10 tactics to rank higher to apply the basic SEO rules. Next bullet point, and the final one, 
Publish press releases frequently and track performance. One way to measure the success of your press release is by the number of news stories and blog posts written. But how well the news release ranks in search engines and as a driver of traffic to your site is also critical. Embed tracking codes in the links from the press releases to the landing page. Monitor the web analytics of the site that the release links to for referral traffic sources. Set up Google Alerts to monitor when the release gets picked up. Monitor blog search engines like Google's Blog Search and Technorati for mentions and links. Finally, track conversions from press releases, uh, especially the landing page and hosting pages. All right, well, that's about it for this show. If you like my show, please consider subscribing to it, which you can do by visiting my website at chaddecker.com. Or if you are an iTunes or Stitcher Smart Radio listener, take it with you wherever you go on your mobile device. If you like my show and find it resourceful, please do your social network a favor and share, like, post, leave a comment, and subscribe to my show. I greatly appreciate your efforts and support, and you are part of what makes this show a success. Well, that's about it for this show. Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be across the nation and around the world. This is Chad Deckard signing off. Goodbye for now. <laughs>